I don't think I'll be needing these whopper ploppers until springtime, so let's put them here. Oh, hey everybody. Welcome back to Fish Den 365. I'm Dan Herring, and today we're going to discuss a little bass fishing secret regarding largemouth bass. It's gonna be a short video, but you don't wanna miss it because what is discussed can help you increase your catch rate. Come on over here and we'll go over it. All right, so here we are ready to talk about this largemouth bass fishing secret. And the first part of the secret is referenced in this book. What this book is, it's called Largemouth Bass. It was written by Don Oster probably back in the early 80s. And in the book, in the very beginning of the book on page 14, he shows a research experiment that was done and in this experiment there was a very large tank and this is the tank here these fish are two pound largemouth bass that are in the tank and basically what happened is when there's nothing in that tank for the fish to relate to they just roam around freely but as soon as something is put on or above or near the tank that's different than the surrounding area, the bass immediately related to it. Here they put a board over part of the tank and it created shade. So the bass related to that. You can see all five fish, or actually there's one, two, three, four, five, all six bass moved underneath that object. And then here they put some, some rocks, a little rock pile in the tank. And immediately all six bass started to relate to what was different, which was that rock pile. And perhaps the most interesting part was here, all they did was paint a black stripe on the tank. They didn't put any cover or anything in the tank. It's just a black stripe on the side of the tank. And when they did that, they noticed that those same two pound bass related to that black stripe on the tank. So what that is saying is that bass, largemouth bass will relate to something that's different in their environment. And for the most part, they are object oriented, meaning that most of the time, largemouth bass will be relating to some type of object. They'll be near it in some way, shape, or form. And that's important to know when you're fishing. Now, do bass roam? Yes, they do, especially when they're schooling bass and they're after bait fish schools and things like that. They'll roam in open water. But more often than not, largemouth bass will be relating to some kind of object, whether that's cover or, or structure. Stay tuned for another video down the road. We're gonna talk about the difference between cover and structure, but that's for a different video. In this particular case, we're talking about any type of cover that's different from the surrounding area. Bass are likely going to relate to that. They're going to station near it most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. But if you know that, and, oh, by the way, this is for largemouth bass. Smallmouth bass are a whole different animal. Sometimes they'll relate to cover. Many times they do not. So they're just a whole different species and they don't behave the same way as largemouths do. Largemouth bass though are very object oriented and if you know that, it can really help your fishing. Back in 1991 or 92, I was fishing my home lake, Lake Nakamixon, and I was just fishing down the shoreline. I remember this like it was yesterday and I used to read about what I'm going to tell you all the time. I, I, I read about it, I, in the back of my head I knew it mattered but I didn't know how much it mattered until I had this experience back in 92. And that was, I was fishing a stump row and the water was about six to eight feet deep where these row of stumps were. It was just along a bank at Lake Nakamix in my home lake. And I was throwing a red shad culprit worm, seven and a half inch red shad culprit worm. And I was basically fishing the entire shoreline. You know, anywhere I started, I would just fish that, that same six to eight foot contour line whatever cover was there is what I was throwing at, whether that was weeds or stumps. In this particular case, I came upon about, I'd say a 50 to 75 yard section of the lake that had weeds with stumps interspersed on the bottom. And those bass were relating to the stumps. Here's where the interesting part comes in. When I went down that shoreline, I was pitching the worms, casting the worm to the stumps. Nothing happened, I did not catch a fish. Somehow in the back of my head, something told me, just turn the boat around and go back the other way and fish that. When I did that, I caught seven bass. When I was fishing the other direction, going this way instead of this way, 
And that's the secret. The secret is when you're fishing for largemouth bass, remember they're cover oriented. The angle and direction of your retrieve matters. It matters significantly. In fact, if, if you're confident that an area that you have has bass, largemouth bass in it, it's, it's got cover, it's got structure, and you're, you're sure the fish are relating to that cover or structure, don't leave it without trying to change your angle and direction of your, of your cast. It makes a huge difference. So I caught seven bass in that, strec in that section. I turned around and went back this way again. Not a thing. Turned around and went this way again, and I picked up at least four or five more fish. And I started trying to figure out well, what, what's the difference. And the difference is probably the way they were relating to the cover. They wanted that bait moving a certain way. They wanted it moving back this way. My boat was going this way, so I'm retrieving the bait back this way. If I was retrieving the bait from east to west, or I'm sorry, from west to east, they would not eat it. If I was retrieving the bait from east to west, they ate it. And you can, some people would theorize that, well, they are on the shady side of the stump, or they are on the sunny side of the stump. Or, or whatever the cover may be and that may be true but you can't predict that so you just have to fish different angles I mean what I mean by that is many times I've been on a lake and I've seen largemouth bass in relating to the bright side of an object in other words they're out in direct sunlight looking towards the shade and there's been other cases where they've been in the shade looking out towards direct sunlight they'll they'll relate to objects but they don't relate to them the same way all the time. It depends on the conditions and what that fish is doing, whether it's feeding or resting or, or whatever. So that's why it's important to experiment with that angle of your cast, the angle of that, you know, when you're, let's just say this is the, uh, the stump row here, you've got all these angles to think about. And then there's the direction, going this way or this way. So you want to experiment with those angles on places that you have a lot of confidence in when you're fishing. Experiment with throwing that lure, your bait, at different angles, and then again, retrieving at those angles in different directions. It's angle and direction. And once you figure that out, you can take that to almost every other spot in the lake, and especially if it's on the same side of the lake, and it'll be, you'll have the same kind of results. That's what happened for me that day. Once I figured that out, I found other shoreline areas that had some stumps. I started throwing the bait in one angle and one direction only, and I caught a load of fish, and they were good fish. I had a great day, and it was when the light bulb finally went on, I finally understood it fully. I mean, I already knew this. I already read this thousands of times, but I didn't really fully understand it until I experienced it. Once you experience it, it makes a huge difference, and I'll never forget it. And since then, when I'm confident that there's fish on a particular piece of cover or structure, you can bet I'm going to approach it from different angles, and I'm going to throw different angles and different directions in my in my retrieve to try and get those fish to go, to try and get them to react to my bait. That's it. Hope that you can use that in your fishing. Remember that the next time you're out fishing for largemouth bass that are cover oriented, and you'll catch more fish. And I hope it happens for you because when it does, I know a lot of you you already know this and it's happened for you, and that's great. But for those who haven't experienced that. Wait until you do, because a whole new world is going to open up for you in your bass fishing. I'm Dan Herring. May God bless your fishing endeavors. If you like this video, I'm going to be putting more out in the near future. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I have some exciting stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks that I'll be sharing with you. I'll see you next time.